on, you know, I want to be on the, the, the skate that I'm going to be on. Like, it's like, I'm done. I'm kind of done. Hey, May. Mm Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Blading on the Brain. I am your host, Kenneth Scott. He, him, as always, bringing you dope content because that's what I like to create. But really, I'm at this spot now where I've been on this exodus. So if you've been following along, you know that I started this ex exodus like around January when I got into my Adapt <clears throat> Brutale 2023 skates. So it all began around there. Like I got into these skates and I thought I was going to love them. And I really didn't. And that's the, hor that's the horrible truth of the matter is because I loved adapts for so long and these just did not work. So it sent me on this like crusade. And I use that word not lightly at all because I feel like it, I have been walking through the desert forever trying to find the right skate. But I haven't had to walk alone, which is important when you're on these kinds of journeys. I've had my good friend, uh, a nerd, a geek, a creative, a about to be taken over the YouTube world again now because he's done creating buzz with his new skate company. So like he's going to come and he's been on this journey with me and he's actually been the one helping me find new and different skates to check out and sending me skates. And so we've had this like budding relationship and partnership around what does it mean to have a good skate? What does it look like for two people to have an honest discussion where maybe we don't always agree about everything, but we at least can talk about it and have some fun doing it? And if you haven't seen it, we did an episode on the rollerblade Sean Keen skate. We came back because Lawrence, back to blading, who I'm talking about, sent me the USD 7 skate. So I did about a month on the USD 7 skate, like I went in, like, I mean, I did my 44 for 44. So you haven't seen that, check that out. So I put, I put time in and then we came together and we talked about it and I asked him what was going to be the next skate. And so he sent me what we're going to talk about today, which I props to the name. Let me stop not putting respect on the name. He sent me the USD Monsway, right? Okay. USD Monsway. Let's get it right. He sent me the USD Monsway to try out. And the funniest thing is it's the first Montre skate I've ever had. So not only is it my first sway that I've ever skated, um, it is the first time I've been able to rep for my really good friend, like, and skate his skates. And so it brings kind of like a nice, like, vibe to it. It feels really good when you're on somebody's skate who you truly appreciate as a performer as a human as a you know an athlete obviously and so i like to have my skates represent what i'm all about and so i have done about a month plus on these skates i've skated everything that is my goal street skated park i tried to do some airs with my old knees um i hit up derbs ranch where he has just this like 15 foot quarter pipe and just went ham on that 
And I also got to get out and skate some rails, some P rails, some boxes. So I tried to really get it in, in these skates so that now when I invite the homie back, which is tonight. So thank you all for joining. We can have a full fledged discussion about the USD Mon Sway. So before we even I get the homie on, you know, we're going to talk about standard. But before all that happens, thank you all for checking out on this journey, because I've honestly, it was something I cooked up in my head that I didn't think would be all that exciting to a lot of other folks, but it felt good to me. And it was an excuse to talk to my homie on the regular. But you guys have tuned in and I'm really, really thankful for that. It's given me a lot of just energy and juice. So as always, thank you to all of you who are either watching live or watching this afterwards and really just getting engaged with the content that I'm trying to bring because it's just trying to do something different. Everyone can do similar stuff and I appreciate those who do like the news or other types of reviews, but I like getting down and having conversations with people. So that's what we're doing here. And it's not a conversation if I hog the mic the whole time. So drum roll it out, y'all. I'm like a teacher at heart, so you know me. Ah. Coming to the stage, a man of many names, law power, back to blading, balance distributions owner, 5050 chroma, compass, and now, you know we all stoked for the standard. I see everybody, all y'all news reporters, I see y'all on IG reporting on the same old news about the standard. Go watch this man's video yesterday if you want the in-depth nerdiness about the standard. So come join me. My man, 50 grand. What up, Loris? <laughs> it's great to see you, Ken. It's been a while. It has. It's, you've been busy, though, so I got to give you, you know. I've been a little busy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, been, uh, it's been a lot of sleepless nights getting ready for this launch. It's been a really busy week. But, I mean, I, I couldn't be more happy with the response people are, are really digging what we've been doing and uh yeah now i just got to bring the skates to market ah uh, you know nothing big nothing <laughs> <laughs> nothing big yeah just the little things <laughs> that final stretch i always tell my kids like you don't want to be cool. first place through the whole race <laughs> yeah. and then finish in fifth yeah you gotta exactly you gotta it. close it out you gotta close it out strong and you're at the, you're at the home stretch <laughs> that's amazing we're we're good. We're good. I think the rest is kind of out of my hands. You know, the 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 dirty truth about working with a factory in China is that you don't really get to control all that much. So we're, you know, hoping that things go smoothly. We've worked with this company for what four years now on making frames. I don't think there's going to be any issues, but there's always that concern, man. I like the control, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to a lot of money and expectations. And it's like, all right, I hope they do it good. <laughs> yeah, people don't realize the amount of faith you have to put in a manufacturer when it's overseas and then yeah. in the shipping. Like I think we're we're accustomed yeah. to like the Amazon life of Prime and it just comes oh, yeah. to you, but like I remember Monk's days we were prototyping some different styles of hats and mm -hmm. it would take like a month and a half to get a sample in of one hat. And the hat costs you yeah. like $50, you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the most expensive hat you've ever bought. It's one of, yeah. and then it doesn't work. And then you're like a month out yeah. of, you know, your time frame for getting that to public or to market. And it's just, it's a challenge. It's a real challenge. Yeah. People don't understand no that. Doubt. Shout out no to doubt. everybody checking in. I see my homie, Sean, you know, that that's the homie right there. Um, do hit us up in the chat. Do hit us up with questions as we're going along. I got the chat up live and also check me on my sound how are we sounding we had um some issues i think with the last one i had i tried to go earbuds i, I didn't want the strings to be showing but then i had like double mic reverb and that's no fun so <laughs> apologies for that I'm trying to set this up nice nice you know i got mantra in the background showing us some swaggy moves but you can't tell what it is you know i'm trying to do some things I'm trying to <laughs> i'm like i'm like a dinosaur in the youtube game i'm like come on help me out <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the, the special background with my own bearings, and that's what I should do, because that's pretty dumb. I mean, me. I could send you some if you needed them. I've oh, got them right here. Oh, no, no, I've got, <laughs> I've got a set. Pristine, right? Thank you, thank you. I did have to give <laughs> Eric Garcia a set in exchange for some really quality photos, and I was like, that's fair. There you go. Yeah, you you need that in the JSF, like, annals. Yeah, like, yeah. The time capsule for yeah. JSF that it did take me my entire JSF career to get a pro product, but I got there. Okay, <laughs> I'm not the only one on the team without a pro product now. Yes, there you go. <laughs> but Hold man, me down. 
Thank you. It's 9 p.m. You came last time while on vacation and did a mobile setup. Like, <laughs> you have been an ace in the hole. And so before I of even, course, like, man. jump into our review and having fun talking about the skates, I have to say thank you. Like, just... Yeah, of course. To all the people. It's like... This is this is this is the man right here. Like we we really have had a bond around these this experience, and it's really yeah. we're gonna. I'm gonna let the cat out the bag for the people later. But like we've had a goal this whole time. Like we, it's not been willy nilly. We had we had something yeah, yeah. up our sleeves, and that's how I ended up. I'm pretty sure that's how I ended up with this baby right here. Look at the beat down. Absolutely. You see that? I went. You're in. doing good, man. I went in on. Yeah. Them. I I'm sorry. I'll I mean, have to. They're holding up great, though. I have to magic eraser them for you. Oh, my God. It's like yesterday yeah. on your show. I did that, and I messed up my yeah. whole zoom. Yeah, it does that sometimes. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, they look great. I mean, white skates are going to be tough to keep clean. That's why I don't skate white skates, but it is what it is. It looks like you were doing some sidewalks up at the uh, at the top above the buckle. That's pretty good. Did you say some How, how are you doing on those tricks? Did you really? Doing, did doing you really? Those tricks. Wow. <laughs> You guys, I just I just is, call it as I see it. Wow, really? <laughs> some sidewalks, Lawrence? What's Dang. what's going on up there then? Up here? How'd you get all dirty up on my cuff? Oh, <laughs> up here? Where? You, what? You, where? I, I fall. I don't. I, I I throw the boots, man. I'm not. I'm not gentle. So. I mean, that's your soul side. It's my switch soul. So it's my switch, switch top soul. soul, switch soul, and my back there right. You go. So a couple go, missed yeah, yeah. back roys and I hit this a couple times. You slide and, out a little yeah, bit. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And we'll we'll talk about like the Royale groove and this soul play. Yeah. Like we're gonna dive in on this bad boy. But yeah. No, I went I went I went even too. Like boom. I believe it. I, I believe it. Those are I mean, those are strong you know, you were saying how Montre put a beating in them. I mean that guy he's incredible. And yes. the sway what was interesting about the sway is they had that first sway, the one that um, the initial sways where Montre had the black and red mm -hmm. sways, and then mm -hmm. they also had I think they had the blue, the blue boot that was like a recreational okay. sway. Those were actually the Bronx, which was a Play Life uh, boot. So it was a, vi a completely different brand that Powerside owns, but it sold into a smaller market. Oh. They took that sway design. And they made a new shell based on those existing shells. So I had thought that it was just a modification, but it's actually a brand new shell. Those those ways that you have, brand new shell, based on the older shell. So those were the first that mm. I know of of the new shell. And now you know they got the farmers, they've got the uh, uh, the Carlos, they've got you know all all of the recent sways, yeah. but it's a really really strong shell. And uh, I mean it it holds up. It's really, really, you know, does the responsiveness, does the damage. I mean, Montre would be the one to break it. He's he, he was <laughs> he was great on them. So I think that's like a great place to start because for me, outside looking in, mm. right, I, I hadn't been engaged in USD post Carbon mm -hmm. three, maybe Frankie Morales, like that mm -hmm, era mm -hmm. of USD, and then I had started another chapter looking at different models and different skates, and so yeah. I never really tried the plastic boots as they became more standard right in the mm -hmm. usd um platform or, or in the catalog and so I'm, mm -hmm. i was the whole time like i'm watching Montre beast out on a sway then get his second sway you know and then mm -hmm. farmers get everyone's getting a sway and i'm going yeah this is so weird why they're not choosing the carbon boot because usually right. you want to put your high level your high premier pros in the high yep. tier boot right you want them to showcase your your greatest and latest mm -hmm. and most expensive, let's be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so at first I was like, well, it's really cool that they put Montre in a price point boot, right? That's dope. I like that. And then right. as I, you know, I skated these, I realized I've been just sleeping. I have yeah. been missing the mark on what is, and you spoke about it with the Omni, a grinder, mm -hmm. like how, like a powerhouse grinder's yeah. boot. Yeah, it is. Absolutely is. Like, I, it's the best soul plate on the market. They don't make it anymore, but it's the best soul plate on the market. So I will. I mean, we'll have to talk about that. The update, like the version two soul plate, full wraparound. Yeah. What we see now on the Bernal yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've got Weitzman. I've got the farmers. I got the farmers here to talk mm. about it. Oh, see, look at you. But yeah, we'll Always be able prepared. to compare those. <laughs> I, you know, it's my. This is my thing. 
I know. It's, <laughs> it's why it's why it's super fun because I'm like, yeah, 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 let's do this. All right. So yeah. with that said, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump into some some pros, real quick. Yeah, yeah. On this boot, things that I loved, and we'll talk about yep. the 45 degree strap for later because you're you broke my heart. But we're not gonna go there yet. <laughs> not gonna go there yet. So what I loved begins with this sole plate. It begins mm-hmm. with the sole plate, and it it really has to do with the flat bottom, the really yeah. nice smooth flat bottom, and this Royale groove, which is, yeah. I think one of the most forgiving and manageable Royale grooves I've had in a really long time. And I say that because mm-hmm. it I I did a Royale. I opened my palm up the other day because I did a mm-hmm. Royale on a on a, just a basic P rail, and I was so locked mm-hmm. in and feeling so good. That I forgot to dismount. <laughs> I literally forgot yeah. to get out of the trick and then slipped out and put my hand down because I was just chilling. Like I it's didn't like a magnet, move. you know. I, it's that just that little pocket, and the wider the groove, the more you're gonna slop around. But with that, if you can get into that groove, it just sucks you into that groove. It's such a great feeling. Yeah, and then I realized that you know the make of a, or the marker of a really good Royale groove is that mm. it's it's two two part right you know that royale groove is great for your royales but oh my god when mm-hmm. i do torque soles or top torque mm-hmm. soles mm-hmm. i mm-hmm. equally get the same lock like it's not like yeah. a a challenge to reverse the the trick right back five front five all the royale variants have this just yeah. beautiful degree of of comfiness where you're like oh okay Damn. I'm there. Yeah. And here we are. And then you're stuck. Yeah. And you're feeling good. And so Yeah. You know, it's hard to get off. It's because you you're you're balanced on. I mean, again, it's it's magnet. It's like you lock on and you're like, oh, this feels great. Oh, the rail's ending. Or oh, the ledge is ending. I don't know how many times skating those skates, I just slipped off a rail because I was just like, I don't want to leave, but I'm gonna have to. No. <laughs> I like literally that was so that has been a, a a secret yeah. in disguise and i understood like as soon as yep. i started it i was like ah this is why you sent yeah. me this boot in terms of the lineage right our my diaspora yep. to find a better skate you were like let me yep. let me show this guy a really really quality soul plate and yeah. so when you say that this is the best you've seen on the market or when you reference it yeah yesterday in your in your uh, yeah. gear talk i'm like ah i see now yeah the only issue that I had with that sole is that aesthetically, it just looks weird. Mm. The fact that it doesn't wrap around, the fact that the toe is exposed, it's just a, it's the design choice that they made, but it just doesn't, it, it feels cheap. Mm. And that might be why they remodeled it for the V2. It doesn't feel like it fits on that boot. It feels like it's a sole plate that just kind of, it's just a sole plate. For all its function, it doesn't have that pleasing you know look to it no no it's chunky um they mm-hmm. added all these cutouts which i believe oh no people are yeah. not seeing anything oh no. wait i don't understand hmm that is weird because i'm looking at it live right now and hmm. <laughs> they're like the crowd is like are you asking in general what's up or if we can see you or not no we can see that's what i want to know is can you see us hold on i'll try to bring us back oh my goodness this is terrible why does this have to happen oh no <laughs> i can't turn on my uh i won't turn on mine but okay i stopped and brought everything back let's see what happened how are we doing now? Check, <laughs> check, check. 17 minutes late. We've been talking. I guess you guys haven't seen it. I'm so sorry. But my homies in the chat, where are we at? We're good? Oh, wow. Okay, Lawrence. This has been... Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> Uh-oh. <sighs> Jeez, Louise. You know... This whole internet thing. You try to do a nice thing. You try to do a nice thing. Is it is it live now or is it I believe we're finally dropped? live. So 15 minutes later into our conversation, everyone can finally uh, maybe. Did you hear us before and not see us? Maybe they didn't hear see anything that we just talked about. 
I swear. <laughs> I swear. I should do this more than once every six weeks. Maybe that's my problem. Is I'm not. I'm really you know out of practice. I do it every other week, and it's still a a drama filled situation. <laughs> We're talking about the Monsway. Oh my God, everyone. My apologies, but here we are. We're talking about this beautiful skate right here. And yes, you see us both. Did you hear us before? I'm chalking out into the group. We were talking about the Monsway. This awesome USD skate. No, you were just waiting. That sucks. I'm so sorry. Yes, full rookie mistakes. I don't have an entire production crew helping me out like uh, some other <laughs> channels that go live like every other day. But we won't go there. Welcome, y'all. I've had my buddy here, Lawrence, and I. We've been just chatting it up to each other because we're having fun. We're a bunch of nerds. I did an awesome intro to him. Maybe since I recorded it, I'll put that version up later. But he's here. He's joining me again. Yes, rookie mistakes. He's joining me again. And we are a part of uh, kind of like this like union that we've had going on where he's been helping me out along my journey since I switched from the Adapskate in January. So a bridged version of everything we said because I don't want to go long. Every skate that I've had since, except for the Sean Keen, um, Law has been sending me with a really, mm. really clear intentionality behind it. It's not willy nilly. It's not like he's just sending me whatever's on the back of his shelf. We have the same size foot, so it does help. I'm not squeezing. He's not like sending me weird sizes, <laughs> but he's been intentionally sending me the skates. And the last one was the Mon Sway. Put some respect on it. I think I call it the USD Sway, but it is the Mon Sway, second one. <laughs> and we were talking about the pros and, you know, Shout out to Lawrence, because not only has he been a big good pal, but he's joined me for each one of these live reviews as I've stumbled through each one. One was good. First one I thought was great. Second one had some reverb. So I'll ask, uh, how's the sound? I asked earlier, got no response. Now I understand why. How's the sound? <laughs> <laughs> I hope we sound good. And... And he's been able to join me to really talk about the pros, the cons, and we've had a little something up our sleeve this whole time, and we'll get to that in a second. But we were talking about the pros of the Monsway boot, and it all begins with this sole plate, which, a bridge version, I love for many reasons. One, it's fast, it's flat, so there's nothing like getting in my way, but I love this Royale groove. If you know me, you know back Royale is my favorite trick. And it's great in Royales. We were talking about how good it is. It's so good that I did this to myself. Yes, every <laughs> rollerblader's favorite fall, a nice little palmer, because I was doing a Royale and just forgot to get off. Like, literally, I was Royaling, Royaling, and then just never, never dismounted. Turd just went straight to the ground because it felt so good. And so this, this is a wonderful groove. Great for Royales, but the true mark of a Royale groove is not its ability to do Royales, but all the subsequent tricks. So Torque Souls, Top Torque mm. Souls, Back Nugans, right? I said Nugan. There you go. All of those tricks are so good in this Royale groove. And so I was glowing positively about this Royale groove. Lawrence was talking about how good it is, but aesthetically, maybe not. Not the prettiest of choices, kind of just looks shoved on here and just like, mm. you know. But he also gave us some history that this was part of a revolution, right? So you want to run that back real quick for the people? Because I love yeah, the history. Yeah. yeah, I'll talk a little bit about it. So um, from what I understand, USD wanted to bring out a kind of like a throne style skate. You know, everybody remembers the old USD thrones. There's definitely a lot of throne feel with the USD sway. They brought out the first Montre boot, which was the black and red one. I don't know what year it was, but you know, it was about five, six years ago from now. And at the same time, they brought out that blue one that had the big 80 millimeter frame as well. That boot was actually the Bronx skate from Playlife, which is a sub brand of power side that they only sell into smaller markets where they can't necessarily afford power slide or USD but people still want skates. So they make a cheaper version that's designed for a lower uh, economy that can't afford the expensive skates. Fast forward a few years and they said, you know what, this shell works really well. Why don't we use the shell as a model and make a brand new one? So that shell that you have is the 
first of the new shells that they're now using and they've been using ever since. It's based on the old shell, but it is a completely new shell. And I had thought since it used the new, same name, since it was the Sway in the past and Sway in, in the present, that it was a, the same shell, but it's actually a brand new shell. And I, for me, I'm like, hey, I'm from New York. So whenever you keep saying that the name of the skate was the Bronx, I'm like, how did I not even realize that that existed? <laughs> like, duh, that I, I should have known. Yeah. And then what I was saying was that I was so embedded in the carbon realm of USD mm-hmm. that I didn't, I wasn't even peeping the plastic side of game, right? I wasn't even understanding yeah. that it was happening. And then I was really confused by how many pros were getting, especially Montre, someone who's a beast and just like destroy skates, was getting these like what I assumed was an entry level skate. I mean, I was like, well, that's mm-hmm. that that's weird. Normally, you would put your pros in the highest level, most expensive skate and try to sell units, right? That's the goal here. But that's not what was happening with USD. And I was so confused. And as Mm -hmm. soon as I got this pair, as soon as I put, you know, and I, you know, for everyone who who doesn't know, I don't do reviews on some like, oh, I skated it for like two days deal. My reviews are like after a month plus, maybe two months of skating and putting it in on every type of terrain. So that's going to be you know, anything from your grind sessions on some ledges and rails all the way through the park, doing some airs. I was on Derb's ramp, 15-foot quarter, going ham. on. I was going fakey up to it because the truth of the matter is, like, this is a beast of a skate. Like, not only is skate. it durable, it grinds well. Um, you know, we'll go right into other pieces that I like is this fit. This fit of a shell. Uh-oh. I think we lost Lawrence for a second. Ah, there you go. We're back in and out. But for those still, I hope y'all are still with me. Oh. Today's episode is brought to you by Sticky Internet and weird oddities in the world of the internet right now. What am I supposed to do with this? This is dope. This boot is dope. I'm going to check in with Lawrence and see where he's at. But for all of y'all still in tune, right, this boot is incredible from the respect of a fit. Okay, he's going to dial back in. Excellent. And you can tell, oh, look, there's two of me. So for now, we'll just throw it to me alone for a second so he gets back in. Ah, there he goes. Hey, welcome back. It's that show. <laughs> it's that show. We're doing it. We're it, doing it. It is. It is. We're doing it. So I was telling the folks while you were, um, this show is like a damn Pokemon, like a Pokeball. But it's like, I love this boot. I love this extra little raised toe section. Damn. Like I truly can, can tell how my ability to wiggle, to have a little mm-hmm. bit of play while not it being in the liner, it being in the shell is twofold. One, when the sizing is right it's really really liberating for your toes like you know <laughs> it is like no more no yeah, more kt no toe and we were talking about the rollerblade and the adapt and they both were giving me like toe crunch like every time i would miss a trick and like potentially stub my toe it was like pain on pain that just made me want to end the session and like leave like honestly just like be done with the skate none of that with this now is it a mm-hmm. little big maybe but it is roomy enough and comfortable and I don't feel like I'm losing any control because it's really the liners all the way up to the front. So this boot is really, really, really comfortable, obviously durable. There's no like weird, like you can't, you can't do anything to this plastic It is so sturdy. Mm -hmm. Um, I did not feel that, you know, there was anything structurally, wrong with this skate the skate structurally is so so strong so so strong um and then i think like otherwise it was pretty standard like i did obviously beat my buckles up a little bit i think i even well your buckles up (laughs) sorry (laughs) (laughs) it's all good it's all good i think i did a little i think a little (laughs) crunch yeah okay let's see Lawrence is such a sweetheart, y'all. See, that's right. Where this is now, this is now an escape that's had multiple. Yeah. It's, it's had multiple lives. It's been. It's go. definitely. It's definitely lived. But um, 
uh, that's like for me those are the main positives the structure of the skate i love i love a 45 degree strap but we'll 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 not talk about that for now and this this royale groove i guess it's i don't have my p-rail that you do but it's like the perfect angle mm -hmm. like the height great is angle just so easy to get in and out of and yeah. so easy to just like enjoy royales and unities in yeah the pocket is perfect i think um i likened it to like a magnet where you slide into that pocket and it's hard to get out and it feels so comfortable that you can't you have to jump out you can't just slip yourself out um a lot of gro uh, royal grooves have a wider angle and that might be easier to like lock on but it's not easier to stay on yep yep it is and it's it's interesting that you say that because it's one of those morphable ones because i think the plastic mm. is while hard I've been able to, I can see, create some of that, the spaces yeah. that I really like to get into when, you know, those pockets that be, I'm, I'm like Victor Arias, like shout outs to the JSF homie. I like enjoy mm -hmm. feeling the groove and being like, oh, look how that's wearing in over here a little different. And so kudos. I don't do negatives. Clearly. <laughs> same, same. It's I have no advice for people who do negatives. Like, just you have wonderful, strong, loose knees, and I don't have either. <laughs> My knees are Absolutely. old and rickety. Uh, <laughs> I'll get to some pieces that I thought were a little challenging about this skate, though, because mm -hmm. for all of its merits as a as a powerhouse in the grinding scene, and once again, I now understand why all these pros are on it: the Carlos Bernal's, mm -hmm. Michael Weitzman. Like, I get it now. Nah, I totally, I like, I like what I'm feeling in this skate. The sole plate was a little too big, like in mm. especially in this forefront area, like all mm. in here, I would find myself s sketching out on tricks. Like when I landed, oh, interesting. like I would find myself mm -hmm. coming down, you know, you never really come down straight. You come down at an angle sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. and I would hit that. Or when I tried to do, like I tried to do some of that fun techie stuff, like the glitch, where you, know, mm -hmm. you kind of like slide your way in. This thing was so beefy that it always caught. Like, no matter how <laughs> high I left that ankle or bent or tried to steer it, it would always catch on the concrete. And that's pretty much the end of you trying to do that glitch move. Once you hit the concrete, it's like, okay, that's over. So it was yeah, big. Yeah. And it wasn't like it was big and it helped me do set slides. Right? You mm -hmm. know, like, I feel like if it's chunky um, and because it's a plastic boot, I didn't really understand how much protection they really gave up here. Like there's just a mm. lot of extra cover in the boot when you could, you know, yeah. coming from a the seven with the very slim, you know, what I mean, very, very slim yeah. sole plate, almost like a fin, not a sole plate at yep. all. This extra yep. beef, I felt like I kept hitting it like I would miss a trick and I'd hit it or like it was weird. That was weird. And then this this the mix of the cuff and the fat boy liner is mm -hmm that's a that's a natural battle or a tension point because yeah. i just felt like no matter what i did i could mm -hmm. never get this tight enough yeah and it was always squishy yeah yeah it's a really tall liner too um i think it's a high top specific liner and i wasn't a big fan of that i had to swap them out i think i skated the rl ones with those and i really liked it but the stock liner was a, a lot harder to deal with yeah, it just like I always felt like I was being transported back to like the 90s and I was in <laughs> like one of the old school razors, like a Johnson, mm, like mm -hmm. a murder with an extra tongue flapping. Like, I yeah, just yeah, felt yeah. like no matter how hard I cranked this thing down, it was soggy. Yeah. And then I felt it when I would do like an alley of topsoil. So I'm on the coping yeah. and I'm doing an alley of topsoil and I'm not giving it my all. I'm kind of cheating yeah. it more and more, as, especially as I get to the end of the grind. And then I'm worried, oh, my God, here I go. This is going to roll. Yeah. I'm going to look terrible. I'm going to be rolling this. I'm about to do this again. So I re it took a while. And then that was also the case when I would drop into bigger um, bigger ramps. Like if I went to skate mm -hmm. like Alameda, I went to the Alameda mm -hmm. Bowl. It's like 100 years old, right? I haven't been there in 20 of those 100 years. But I mm -hmm. went and skated Alameda, and every time I dropped into the bowl to do the air out of the bowl, I could feel the give when I hit mm -hmm. the quarter. Like, right when I was ready to give it my all and pump through on some Fabiola, mm -hmm. like, strong legs, I couldn't. Mm -hmm. I had, like, just instant sog. It was like, 
like right at the like right at the yeah. point uh, you have nothing anymore nothing in the tank and that was so it was just weird it just wasn't yeah it's it's not my faith <laughs> i didn't experience that um i i would be curious what you would feel if you were skating different frames mm. those frames are definitely more um the suspension y mm-hmm. style i i'd never skated them but the 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 responsiveness that you get from a raised heel boot, you shouldn't have any of that slop. Um, that's more a, like if you were skating a, um, uh, like a carbon free with a shock absorber or a razors SL with a thick, thick. shock absorber. Yeah. yeah. I think you would get the slop there and the, like the absorption on a, a transition. You shouldn't get that with the sway. Um, maybe there was something in the liner. It's been a while since I've held those. It's also something, something to look into in my soggy knees. So there's also that. I, I, I mean, I, yeah, those shocks that's are quite possible. These 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 gaskets are a little bit uh, in need of replacement. So that yeah, might I, be true. If you're saying it, I'm kind of like, yeah, I haven't never, I've never felt that with the frames before. Shout out to Create Originals because those frames are tight. Yeah, yeah. But um, I definitely after that day of skating Alameda, I was in traction for like two days. My knees were just oh wow. Yeah, no, they were hurting, and I, that could just be me. Yeah, being that's strange. Out of shape. Well, for, for trying to drop into a twelve foot bowl and air out of it, like I, that's. <sighs> yeah, I mean anything's possible. Uh, until you get old. Yeah. Um, I I don't I wouldn't blame I wouldn't blame the skates for that. I think ultimately I think they stopped making those liners on the skates. You know, the, either they come with um, uh, fat boy liners now, or um, no, not fat no, boy, they come crown with, liners. Yeah, or they come with the second skins. Like mm-hmm. there are different liners that they'll come with now. I don't think they come with that liner anymore. I think no, that was they a don't. one-off. No, this this I looked and this was definitely the highest and the softest yeah. liner that has come on a sway. I and think so. In recent time, they're all like very thin, like your RL liners, or actually, yeah, they kind of yeah. look like the the liner you've got in the Omni. Like when I look at it, it's kind of like the line. those ones. Hmm. No, the new ones, the newer ones. Oh, the new ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Similar. I I haven't I haven't seen the new sways. The the farmers that I have are the crowns. So these oh, are yeah. very like techy, yeah. techy liner. Um, it's got a very similar like high feeling mm-hmm. that the um, the Montre ones do, but it just felt like this one especially just felt over engineered. There was a lot going on in this liner, <laughs> so it wasn't really. I mean, it's a pro model, so it made sense. And Chris loves these liners, so I mean, there you go. Give him the liner that he likes, right? That's right, hundred percent. Uh, yeah, I think the um, the Weitzmans come with a different liner, maybe yeah. a second skin. It's probably a better fit for the for the skates. I, I I totally would agree with that. I would I didn't want to tarnish my review by putting in like an intuition or something like my rollerblade yeah, or something yeah. different because I wanted to really give it. But I would like at this point now that it yeah. we're out there finally live. Hey, thank you everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I would probably for the next few sessions do a thinner, um, yeah. more like I would say like close to the ankle tight easier to get tight um yeah because the slop was it was palatable like i could take it yeah after initially it was like a little hard i'm like oh my god okay right right you're in these skates um definitely it's interesting to think about weight in these skates because i feel like they're Mm -hmm. light like i feel like they're really light light, even though you know the sole plate looks beefy the liners Mm -hmm. beefy i was a like i started doing what um red cardinal calls the frogger right so it's just like hop mm. hop jam in between like i think biz called it a space bar and i was like that's a pretty cool name too so i started like doing those because i saw weitzman at the new york street invitational getting the hops in between i was like that seems really fun i've never been one mm. to like jump to 360 into the same trick like in the middle but this idea of just kind of like jumping in between is kind of like i like it and mm-hmm. you know you think okay that's going to be harder with a heavier skate obviously and these were so much fun that i was finding myself just trying oh, yeah. different tricks with it like top mistrial jump top mistrial or like you know mm-hmm. check the ones i did on ig but like i've been really enjoying the weight because it's allowed me some freedom to be creative yeah. and have some fun and just like not yeah. feel so like i guess for me like you know stuck like i like a good long grind I'm old school like that. You give me yeah, the opportunity yeah. to just do it forever. I'm going to sit and grind and just hold it and not do a switch up. But I felt like, yeah. oh, you know, I feel good. I'm going to try some little cool stuff and 
had a lot of fun on Derbs' ramp doing switch ups I haven't done before. Um, doing switch ups I haven't done in years. And it was really I, mm-hmm. I give a lot of props to the not only just the responsive nature of this gate, but the the weight. Like it's it's not holding me back. It's not and I never felt no. any of like what we talked about with the SK where after a session yeah. other than this last one like i said i was trying to air out of a 12 foot bowl i don't know different yeah that was a different day. situation and that was after yeah. we had already grinded a box for like two hours so yeah 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 you, you know I hear you. you really just set it off there you said i can't blame the skate and i can't i'm just old lawrence <laughs> <laughs> hey i'm older than you so i'm right there with you don't tell everyone you, could, you look good <laughs> tell everyone that i'm older than you yeah you look Jesus, good you could have you could have the one t- with the gray I mean, all right. I I don't Can't just remember. I, I got a little bit some in here. It's it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> don't worry. It's coming. I'll be right there behind you. Yeah, I, I don't I don't believe that at all. But it's all right. <laughs> I'm not. I, yeah, you're I, the nice guy. I'm not known for being. Nice. I am the nice you're guy. Known you're known right. for being nice. I I will say I I think the weight of this way is great for the price. You really can't beat it. I think they're what two thirty something like that. Yep. For the the team skates or whatever, incredible price. Um, the fact that more pros are getting them as pro models, absolutely love that. Um, I think again, it's just a really easy way to accessorize. Everything's compatible. Everything works together. Really, really great. Really great. Yeah. Yeah. I actually had a friend who's wanting to get into skating and reached mm-hmm. out to me cause you know, he's like, bro, you skate. I was like, thank you for reaching out. And, um, he's like, what would you suggest as an entry level skate? I got wide mm-hmm. feet. And I was I looked up show shout mm-hmm. outs to Oak City. If you're not peeping mm-hmm. Oak City, they got dope sales right now. And they got sales on the sway. And so there were two I do not need a back to hating shirt. They have two <laughs> they have two uh versions right now that are on sale of the sway that are only one ninety nine. Yeah, it's a great price. I'm like, that's a pickup right there. And they have multiple yeah. sizes, size eleven. Like so I was like, Oh man. Yeah. It's not the widest boot, but it's definitely good for wide feet. Like it's not Genesis level width, but oh. it's it's fine. Yeah, I, I never tried one of those. That's got to be ultra wide then, because I I, yeah. I I kid with people, but I'm not actually joking. My feet are so wide that when I take a shower, I get stuck. Like my foot, because it's flat. <laughs> my foot is completely flat, and so it's just like uh-huh. I will tear an ACL. Yeah. I'm more, most likely like on the high school, like you know, back of the page. Most likely to tear their ACL in the shower. That's me. <laughs> just like stuck, make a turn, and then immediately just fall on the ground because I'm dying. And to that's all the people bad. who think I'm a hater out there, I am, and that's fair. I'm opinionated, <laughs> but like. I think a lot of people throw that on older bladers. Like, they'd be like, oh, it's the old school bladers. They don't want to see the new school stuff and, like, yada, yada, yada. And that's not true because I'm over here doing the frogger because that looks tight. Like, am I going to Christ grind everything? No, but I'm going to do that. That that fits my <laughs> style of skating. It looks fun and I won't die trying it. So, yeah, yeah. We older bladers, we might be a little curmudgeon. <laughs> we might be a little stuck in our ways. We're not all haters. It's not all hate. It's just, just not opinions. All it's opinions. You gotta have an opinion. <laughs> Did I mention the colorway? What would I prefer to... What, what do you mean? That mountain. What do you mean about... I like the colorway. I like a white boot. Mm. I actually really, really... I feel Vinnie Minton-like when I'm in a white boot. Yeah. And that's a good thing. Yeah, Vinnie would rock those. Vinnie would rock I these. had a hard time... I had a hard time pulling that skate off. Um, I think, you know, as a 40 year old white man skating around with white skates and red, it's like a little too flashy for me. Um, I'm, I'm a black skate guy. If I'm skating a white skate, that's fine, but it's gotta be like black and white. I don't want a ton of colors, especially not a bright red. That's just, you could see me a mile away from that. <laughs> and I think as soon as I stopped skating those, I think the next skate that I tested was the FM2, which oh, was wow. the Frankies that were white and white and red, the carpet yeah. trees. I just could not avoid it. It was just, that was that season where everything was white and red. I mean, I'm, I'm my family's from Trinidad. Our colors are red, white, and black. It's very easy for me to throw some red, white, and black out there, and the outfits always are gonna match. But I do, I do like I'm thinking about yeah. my, I'm thinking about my next skate, right? Because I'm on a journey. There you go. So I'm thinking about my next skate, and my next skate happens to be able to be customized in a couple colors too, particularly. And uh, yes. they're dark, and there's a dark version, and I love a black skate. I do. I also love a really good. 
black skate, just clean. You don't see the the beat down that I'm currently putting on it like re- repeatedly. Um, so yeah, I, yeah, I, I probably will go back to to shout outs to that mountain. Like I will probably go back to darker tone skates and and be back in a black skate. But I I enjoyed. I thoroughly enjoyed being in a white skate. I felt I felt um yeah. There's a there's a vibe to it. There's a whole vibe to it. It is. It gives you a little bit more like moxie, a little bit more like you got a little skip in your step, you know? Yes. Um, whenever I'm skating a skate that and, and I've always felt like that with the gods. I had a hard time feeling comfortable in that look, but I always felt like when I was skating, I had a little bit more of a, a, a hop to me. I skated the um, this is a funny story. I was at uh, Aggressive Mall. My skates broke. They had a pair of shells laying around, follow shells. I was skating follows. And they were like, just have these. These are Cosimo's old skates. He left them here. Mm. And like, <laughs> for those who don't know, Cosimo, A, incredible skater. But B, he had wide feet. And so in order for him mm. to skate the volos, he had to do what a lot of us had to do, which is cut the toe open and like Damn. widen the whole side. So for me, I was like, yes, give me those because they're already pre-done. I don't have to cut anything up. I know those are going to be exactly. good. I just have to put, because his bearings were shot. I have to put some new bearings on there. But they were the Braskows, the black with the gold uh, mm. midsection. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's and great. Yeah. Killer. I just, there was, like you said, there was just a little bit more swag, you know? Yeah, Steady a little swag. Popping. Yeah. I just, yeah. It did something to yeah. me. It did a little something to me. So, you know, don't be surprised like if there's a little gold additive to, <laughs> you know, a little section on my there next you skates. Is, you know, there's a little section maybe that I can add some gold to so I can floss and get out there. But, Thank you again. I would give this skate, like, honestly, if I were yeah, looking yeah. for a skate and I would, and I was currently looking at, like, the Michael Weitzman's and the Carlos Bernal's, mm-hmm. I would honestly, like, this skate is, and I hope the new ones are, are, are even better, but this skate's damn near perfect. Like It's a great skate. This is, like, this. I mean, if it's not a 9, it's a little bit greater than a 9 out of 10. Yeah. Because I really... I have not been able to find other than like I would do a slimmer liner, which they have done. Um, I right. could not find another piece of beef with this skate at all. Like literally the, yeah. the sizing was great. The shell shell breaks for all my nerds out there. Shell break was perfect for my in between 10 and a half, 11. My left foot is like a mm-hmm. perfect 10 and a half. And my right foot is right in between a 10 and a half and 11. So I have to get an 11 ish mm-hmm. to like kind of feel good about it. And so yeah, definitely like, this skate's a 95. 95 out of 100. Yeah. It's an A+. Plus. It's yeah, a it's plus. a great skate. It is the skate that I recommend people when they're getting back into it. Because I know that they're going to get a quality product. USD's quality is always consistent. It's a light skate. It's not going to break the bank. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a really, really great skate. Just shouting out, Sean, because, you know, love you back, bud. Like, really, though, if you're sticking around because you're, you're here for the show and you're, you're not switching channels appreciate you and i've known you since you were young so double down on that ft dubs go check them out do the thing buy the thing support locals support bladers all of that but now it's that point because i only <laughs> I, I, you know even though we started late i'm only going to seven because i'm not keeping you late it's 10 o'clock on your time my journey is coming to an end i feel like i feel like i have <laughs> to no it's really like this the, the, I've been on many newlywed dates, first dates. I've had a couple like bad dates with some skates. Like, you know, the seven was an interesting experience. I liked it, but it wasn't my yeah. favorite. But I got to settle down. I'm t- it's too much <laughs> of a spinster lifestyle for me. I've been married for 16 years. I got two kids. I don't do this like... I don't I don't yeah. do the, the window shopping anymore. I don't do the casual date scene. I'm not left swiping or right swiping. And so at yeah. this point now, I'm like, all right. I could, I, I could, I could, I could settle down in these. These are nice. I could get the upgraded version. The Michael Weitzman's are really nice, like almost like a reference to Jeff Frederick's USD color, mm. right? Like that mm-hmm. blunt color. I like that. Yeah, like fashionable good. with my khaki cargos. But I'm like, what do I do next, Lawrence? We've been talking <laughs> about these skates because each skate had a unique piece that I think you wanted me to unlock. As I was learning about these skates, I was also learning about what you were designing and the standard. What I what I loved yesterday and I love in your video, besides just starting with inclusivity, which come on, my guy, you know, I'm all there. You talked about using the process of 
rapid prototyping but also rapid reviewing mm. of other skates to find the right mm -hmm. pieces that worked for you and that you thought should be yeah. standard and you mentioned the right. soul play and i lost my mind yeah because i was like yeah, yeah. now i see why i tried this soul play at the end when we're close to the release of the standard exactly. because this is a good one and a yeah. this gate doesn't squeak no For all y'all out there no, it's this, silent this is this is and you talked about the standard being silent so like i heard that yeah. and i was like yep he knows I hate a squeaky plastic skate. Yeah. That's why I've been on carbons. Yeah, yeah. That's why I've been on other types for the, you know, the weight. But also, I don't want that razor squeak. I, I don't even like to hear it. It yeah. ruins clips. This, the SK, yeah, I does. love you, Sean. Your birthday was like yesterday. Happy B day to Sean Keen. He's got the same birthday as my son. Brian Kranz, JSF in the house. But like, them skates squeak. And I felt like it yeah. ruined all my clips. Like, I'm like, oh, I can't even put yeah. some dope Afro beats over that. Because like... <laughs> It's just squeaky, squeaky yeah. squeak. But these are silent ninja skates. And so They're great skates. I tuned in yesterday. If y'all haven't tuned in to Lawrence's Gear Talk or you haven't checked out the videos on the standard, I tuned in to learn more because I wanted to understand mm -hmm. your thought process as to why you took me on the journey that you took me on. Yeah. And I went to grab the USD sway, but I have it all um the seven. I have it all boxed up for you though. The seven. Why yeah, the, no, why sweet. why the seven? So we can start with a blank. So the okay. blank, the blank came out and it was, it checked all the boxes, right? It was what I wanted in a skate and what I really loved about modern skate design. It was a flat sole. So it had an internal shock absorber. It had a really nice lacing area. It had a good sole area, but for me, it was really heavy squeaked the sole plate didn't work the way that I wanted it to for bigger wheels. It was a little bit more sloppy than I would like. So I've been chasing that USD seven. The USD seven mm. was the first skate that really opened my eyes to what a flat sole could do with an internal shock absorber. And it's a great skate. The sizing is a little funky with the USD seven. And personally, I think the sole plate could use a little bit of refinement. But other than that, it is a great it is a great plastic plastic shell. The sway then fixes that sole plate, so it had a really great sole plate, but it's not flat sole, so it doesn't have the internal shock absorber. Mm, so true. so if you took if you took the sway and you made it flat, and you put an internal shock absorber in there, that to me was like 90% of what I was trying to make with my skate because those are the perfect ingredients to make, you know, what I've been chasing. It's a light skate. It's responsive. It's got an internal shock absorber. So it's got a little bit more padding when you're skating. And then it's got a seriously well-designed sole plate. So that's what we did with the Omni. And that's where, um, you know, I finally was able to figure out the sway, uh, the sole plate, make it work, uh, We've got the internal shock absorber. It's a light skate, super responsive. The full video with the gear talk gets a little lengthy, but you can look at uh, the website to get a little bit of a higher level look at it. I think it's a 15 minute thing on the uh, the Omni that goes through everything that um, you know we're talking about tonight. It talks about everything. Um, so yeah, that's that's the that's the reason. And I think um, between those two skates, if you had both of those skates as a, a mix, I think you'd get to see where I wanted to go with our skate. You now that you mention it, so I'm a big mm. proponent, even with like a really good footbed, like the My Soul footbed that comes in adapts. That's a really good footbed, right? Based on mm -hmm. what I'm holding in my it's hand, great. especially. But uh, <laughs> yeah, yes, I, I always even uh, upgraded that with an FP insole. Right, mm -hmm. more shock absorption, a little more heat moldability, comfort around the foot. They're a little thick, but yeah, I, I found yeah. a way to make them work. I didn't really miss the insoles in the seven at all. Like I felt a little bit the heel lift, you know. I felt a little bit of the rise, but I didn't miss the the shock absorption. Mm -hmm. um, and I, mm -hmm. once again, I like to skate these things without doing any modifications, so I get a real raw view of it. But immediately, right. I noticed the difference in these and i hadn't even yeah. torn it apart yet to see that this is all you've yeah. got like that yeah, is there's, there's nothing there literally it like i mean that's a fruit yeah. roll up like i 
Yeah. And then apart yeah. from that, it's just the the little bit of thin paper that they put so your foot doesn't go straight into yeah. your into your sole plate or into your frame. And I'm like, right. wow, I hadn't even noticed this whole time that this is not it. Like really though, USD, come on, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> well, and to be fair, the problem isn't the insole as much as it's the design of a raised heel. If you put a you know shock absorber in the back you would end up leaning forward so much that mm -hmm. it would feel like you were digging your toes in mm -hmm. so you need to have a flat sole like the adapt like the usd7 like the carbon free that has a flat mounting area so that you could put that shock absorber in there mm -hmm. and get your forward lean without adding additional forward lean to what's already a forward lean scape and that's kind of where the seven it's a little too far forward it's a little too much that you're you're it could almost be. yeah yeah especially coming from a flat flat it, skate and and the the beauty of it is that you can add whatever shock absorber you want so rather than let the skate manufacturer dictate how much of forward lean you've got with a flat sole you can have a shock absorber back there that's 10 millimeters 15 millimeters 20 mm -hmm. millimeters like it doesn't matter you could have different thicknesses you could have different hardnesses so if you want a little bit more responsiveness you can have that you want a little bit more squishiness you can have that like it's up to you it's customizable for how you like to skate yeah so with that said i am pretty mm. sure by my own my own self like i i'm, I'm assured in myself that i'm going to be checking out the omni skate i mean i am so yeah i'm so fairly sure that i even like printed out <laughs> folded i haven't taped it together i'm like doing origami so i can check out nice if this is the right fit for me but um, so the 295 295 is is definitely the one that you'll fit that's into. the one that so i want see, okay. see how that feels yeah 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 but I, I i just threw some people the the lob in there in the chat ask a question if you want we got a few minutes because i'm gonna ask a question that i think for me yeah 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 is super important it's a juicy one because you know i'm you know i'm i'm, I'm not upset with you but I'm, I'm interested. <laughs> I'm interested. Yeah, so yeah. it's about 45 degree straps. One, right. It's almost as controversial as Savannah. Like, I mean, it's pretty damn close. Like 45 I mean, degree straps. Uh, that That is a settled topic, though. Yeah. Shout Savannah, out to Clark. And there's no. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. that's fine. That's but, fine. Yeah. But. <laughs> all right. Fine. It's almost as controversial as pants. There you go. There you go. <laughs> With a Z only. I yes. love a 45, right? I'm just a kind of, sure. I think I'm a homer for a 45. I loved, what I loved most about Shadows was the toe strap. Like, go forward. Mm. Give me another strap. Give me somewhere else to, like, put some real, like, rigidity so that I have flex and points where I never really thought I could use for leverage because now my foot right. is really secure and stable. Yes, I am now Team Sav. I have adjusted. Thank you. But... You got rid of the 45 degree strap and you have a legit excuse. So you, you are yeah. smart, you have design savvy, and you talked about something that I think is completely underrated in skates, the lacing system. Sure. When I wrote yeah. adapts, I could lace them tight enough that the 45 degree strap was kind of moot. It was just yeah. long in there and you know, whatever. Talk about the lacing system on, on the Omni. Yeah. Why is it so good? I've actually got it here. So this is the Omni and uh, this is our leasing system. So it is, you know, it's not revolutionary, but it's the way that it should be in my eyes. The leasing area is thinner than the boot. So a lot of skates, you'll see the thickness of the boot is consistent. The entire area of the boot. And then it just has holes up top. Instead, you can see that it's a little bit thinner. It drops in mm. in this top lacing area. And then look down, you can see it drops in a little bit. This area is only two millimeters. That means that when you're lacing up your skates, you put your foot in there and you tie up the laces, the laces actually do something. So it'll squish <laughs> in a little bit and it'll hug your foot around the top of your foot. That's the feeling that I always wanted with a 45 degree strap. And I would use a 45 degree strap because this boot was so thick and it wouldn't, the laces weren't strong enough to make any impact to that lacing system. It wouldn't, it wouldn't change anything. We made sure that that's not the case. So when you lace up here, you actually feel like it's lacing up. You mm. could 
you, you need to use the laces to get a really good fit. A lot of people love a 45 degree step. There's no reason why you couldn't drill a hole and put your own 45 degree strap in. But I've seen plenty of skates that have a hole in the side of the skate or a little eyelet hanging out on the side of the skate that it could be a cutting hazard. It aesthetically looks horrible. If you don't want a 45 degree strap, what do you, what do you do with it? You know? So that was our decision. If you wanted to add one, you always could, but it's hard to remove it without mm -hmm. leaving a hole where it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The design aesthetic is totally ruined. I look at people, my own yeah. friends, like, Cameron Talbot, who skates rollerblades with the holes all mm. everywhere, and I'm like, oof, such a, such a look. Yeah, <laughs> it's not a. Fun. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a very, I, I, I mean, the reason why I don't like white skates is because they start getting dirty. I love looking at skates, and it's the visual is part of what I look for in a skate. You mm -hmm. know, I not just functionality; it has to look good to me, and. If it's got holes all over the place, you know, it's just not, it's not for me. You know, I think a skate should just be this, this solid piece. Mm -hmm. You know, the only areas that you see holes are the lacing areas and, and that's it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I, I get the free skates thing where they've got the swoops and they've got the air pockets and stuff. Like if you're skating for miles, that's fine. Right, right. That's not what I want in a skate though. Oh my God, the chat is blowing up with all of our exposed holes everywhere. But I did see a nah. question that I appreciate, which is, you know, you you now have stretchy laces with lace locks for the liner. Mm. You've mm -hmm. essentially said laces are important. Do you think wax laces are still important? Or is that like a thing that we used because we didn't have good um, splits between our yeah. arms? I do think wax laces are good. You know, for uh, my, my background is in hockey. Um, and the the hockey feel is you know quick responsiveness you want to feel like the blade is just coming out of the bottom of your foot you're not even mm -hmm. wearing a skate and that's the feeling that i've tried to replicate with the omni if you had wax laces which i did with my hockey it wouldn't get loose but i don't think it made any impact to getting tighter mm -hmm. so i don't know that i would ride wax laces i feel like it doesn't need to be that tight. <laughs> like it should be tight, but I don't think it needs to be that tight. But everybody's foot is a little different. You know, there's a lot of things to consider. The The liner that you're using, is there a lot of space above the liner? Do you need it to hug and do you need it to stay tight? We used to stuff our liners, right? Mm -hmm. With a fat tongue. That was another way to fill out that space so that it was more, you know, more solid. Your foot wouldn't lift up inside the boot. Mm -hmm. I don't think you need to do that anymore. I think wax laces are a good thing if it, you know, fits the way that you like to skate. I don't skate with wax laces, so I think the the regular laces are fine. Just regular nylon laces are fine for me. So what you're telling me is I don't need to go out and find an old school power strap to attach to the back of my skates anymore. I don't know that you ever needed to, <laughs> but I think some skates definitely contribute to it. I will say if you're skating really really big wheels, it's more important to have a 45 degree strap or a ratchet mm. buckle. I think having that support is mm -hmm. really important as you get taller because you don't want to risk hurting your ankle. Right. And um, you're up there like for 100 skating, at that point. Yeah. If you're at hundreds, hundred tens, that's, it's a very different feeling. Yeah. If you're skating aggressive though, I mean, you need a little bit of flex in that area. Yeah. You don't need to be totally back in. I would argue that a Velcro strap, isn't really going to do that much if you're ratcheting it down then it's really going to cinch in that boot but a velcro strap i feel like it might be more of a crutch mm. to make it feel like you're holding yourself back than actually doing what it does what yeah. it's supposed to do i should say no i feel you on that especially when you have the combination of good lacing uh, system plus like it, it yeah. is like an additive and not necessarily uh, a plus it's like, like not, not the best value so Sean yep. wanted to know if you could show the graphic on the bottom of the production model of the Omni. <laughs> he wants to know if it's the Portal logo. He wants to know. I can I can show you a teaser. I, I'm not going to take these off, <gasps> but you can see what it looks oh, like underneath. Oh no, you did. Oh, you guys. Just a little oh. a little incentive. A little oh. incentive to take the sole plates off and experiment with it. No. Okay. 
so see now now for all of y'all who are watching and you were thinking about the white and the black combination and then you really have something to think about like you really <laughs> like like let that soak in are you gonna get that cool pop that we just saw if you're ooh, that's mm. I, it's important you know it's our first skate it's important to have something that people when they're taking the boots out of their box that they're like that's cool and it's like oh that i like that you know little things that make you remember putting your skates together i i think fun stuff like that should happen more often i agree it's like what we had when you look back at the ok2s and you got the tom heiser drawing in the heel that's exactly right? it it's, yeah it's, it's in there and then yes that yeah. mountain i was talking about throwing on some old school lazy legs or like what used to come with the dirks if you remember that there right? you go that was a oof that yeah, was yeah, a yeah. strap that was pretty crazy crank straps yeah uh, oh, Trav, Trav Stewart, Blader Union, uh, believes there's hey, a Travis. risque, risque photo of uh, Stefan Brando. That's what he believes, and I would, I wouldn't um, doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. I, I don't know, I don't know uh, how risque uh, <laughs> you're gonna get. Dude. I haven't seen any risque uh, photos of Stefan, but uh, you missed then the whole powerlifting. Uh, I mean, days. You it might entire, be me. You missed the entire powerlifting <laughs> days because that was a shirtless I, time frame. Uh, I saw I saw a few of those. I'm not sure again if that was risque. Um, I mean, remember, I deal I deal with Matt oh, uh, Lion a lot. Oh, so oh yeah, uh, your level's higher. That's true. Your barometer. it's a little mm. uh, yeah, mm. slightly different mm. adjustment there. Yeah, that's a character and a half. We talked about him last time stealing from his own yeah. sponsors, which I thought was inventive. That's a new one. The best best guy. Pine Top is putting us out there, and I'm just going to say mm. it because it needs to be said because, you know, you got to respect the comments that you need to be a consultant for the Aeon 2, the perfect no. <laughs> unibody skate, which that sounds that sounds risque to me on its own, a unibody skate. But I agree. You should just be a consultant to all the stars. I'll, I'll say that I've got some ideas that I'm working on for the future of the skate and that the, the current form that you see is just the beginning oh teaser teaser i love it i love <laughs> it well it is 10 o'clock your time i only go for you know an hour with these shows and i'll put up the full version so you all can see what we recorded that you may not have been able to see live but thank you to everyone that did stick with us through technical difficulties I'm going to get better at this. I'm going to start talking to people more often. I'm going to get back on my YouTube game because the master himself is coming back. Now that he's created <laughs> his perfect skate, he's going to be all over the place, skating, skating, skating. Maybe he'll leave the reviews up to me now, which could be fine. I won't be mad at the there hand. You, the, you know, the, I'll take that as a handoff. But thank you all. Lawrence, my man, you're a brother that I so always, appreciate. Always a pleasure. This is so fun. I mean, <laughs> literally, even my wife will comment and tell me that, like, y'all just seem like y'all are having a good time. And I love the unlikely yeah. pairing of the two of us, coast to there coast, you go. but rep in the bay. Um, oh. I'm in the city of Oak. <laughs> I, I realize I'm one of the two, blood. two rollerbladers left in Oakland. So that's just a, that tells oh, no. you something. That tells you something. And yes, uh, Travis, blading does not deserve Lawrence, but we are so happy to have him. We're so happy to have uh, you. Thanks, Travis. Uh, as well, Trav, don't sleep. We are all big Blader Union fans. And, you know, the revival is just, uh, you put some time back in. We got you. We're ready. We support <laughs> you. I still have my Blader Union wheels untouched. My biz wheels untouched. They're, there you they're go. Right there, there on the go. keepsake on the workbench. But like many, Lawrence, I'm excited for the standard. I will be Thank you. getting on that customizer, which you built. Oh, computer science nerds. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> shout them out. I will be on there. I will be putting together something cool because ultimately I want to support you. And I know the amount of intellect, time, and basically the intentions that you have behind everything you design from whether it be bringing us 3D printable uh, core system, mm -hmm. right? Or bringing us cool nuances like in the balance two frames and balance frames. If you don't know, you can get straight to your, um, your frame bolts without having taken all your wheels out. Mm -hmm. Frame companies, think about it. If you got if you got some fifty thousand laying around to make a new mold, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good idea. I hate having to take my wheels off every time I feel a little bit of instability. 
but you bring us a lot of really really cool designs that like you have said repeatedly and i think many of us will agree should be standard on what we what we ride should be part mm-hmm. of our experience as rollerbladers and especially some of us who have been doing this for 20 plus years and i think we need we need we need good products we need good products and we need really good humans to support so you are one of those people for Appreciate everyone it. who is joining, we say thank you. For everyone joining, I say thank you. This is Blade on the Brain at you. We'll come back with more reviews. Probably the next one will be the standard. I yeah. don't know. But I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's where my money's going. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Comment, thumbs up, like, share, do the YouTube thing. But do enjoy yourselves. And like Ricardo will always say, have fun out there. Like for real though. All this political, all this like beef, hate haters. That's all for fun. Let's just make it fun. Let's keep it fun. Let's keep it light. Let's keep it about wheels. And let's keep it about learning about the humans, right? There's a lot more to Lawrence than you know. And I'm privy to get to (laughs) know that knowledge because he's a dad and a husband. He's a lot more than just an awesome skater who's a great creative and really wants to devote a lot to the sport. So from me to you, to you, to me, to all those people, third wall broken. Peace. (laughs) Really enjoy y'all being with us. Oh, look at that. AI coming in hot. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Have a great night. Have a good night, though. Bye. Ah. Good I'm stuff, man. What this. a nightmare. Yeah. Seriously. That sucks. That is what it, it is. It happens. But good for me. I, I record all of my streams.